In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul, and this is the Good News. The scripture reading today is taken from the Gospel according to St. Mark, chapter 13, verses 24 through to 32. But in those days after the tribulation, the sun will be darkened, and the moon will not give its light. The stars of heaven will f fail, and the powers in the heavens will be shaken. Then they will see the Son of Man coming in the clouds with great power and glory. And then he will send his angels and gather together his elect from the four winds and from the farthest part of earth to the farthest part of heaven. Now learn this parable from the fig tree. When its branch has already become tender and puts forth leaves, you know that summer is near. So you also that when you see these things happening, know that it is near at the doors. Assuredly, I say to you, this generation will by no means pass away till all these things take place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will by no means pass away. But of that day and hour no one knows, not even angels in heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father. We read, or we continue to read, about the end times, about the coming of the Son of Man in his glory. That day that we've all that we are all waiting for. There are many preachers out there, quite often you hear them, who are known for their end times preaching. Of course they do paint a horrible, terrible picture. Fear comes a lot across a lot of the people who hear these preachers. Fear and trembling is quite common. I am not saying that it's not going to happen at the end times. They will. We have been told, Jesus has told us that it would happen. And as he mentioned here about the parable of the fig tree, when its branches has already become tender and puts forth leaves, you know what's going to happen. So with the end times, we have been warned. Jesus warns us. But we must never forget the other words. Not the fearful words, but the words of promise, of hope. As Jesus said, heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will by no means pass away. We've always got those words with us. Heaven and earth may pass away, but my words, the words of Jesus, will continue on. And the other important verse, but of that day and hour, no one knows, I repeat, but of that hour and day, no one knows, 
not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son. He's talking about himself. Jesus Christ, our Saviour, will know. But only the Father, our Heavenly Father, is the one who will know when this will take place. Many people try to work out a date and time. Over the years and centuries, there's been a, a few false prophets there. But it's only the Father. But what we learn from here, from the scriptures, is we must, I repeat, must prepare ourselves for that day when Jesus comes in the clouds, in all his glory, and he sends the angels to all the far areas heaven and earth will pass away but my words will not remember that and that no one knows the hour so prepare yourself daily because it might happen today, tonight, tomorrow. Only our Heavenly Father knows when this will take place. Prepare yourselves for that day, that judgment day, when Jesus comes in his glory and judges us all. Pray. Pray that God will not want to find you wanting, <clears throat> that you will be prepared. As I said earlier on in this particular book of Mark, this gospel, some people, where is it? But woe to those who are pregnant, to those who are nursing babies in those days. And of course it goes on. There'll be those ones out in the fields working. When that time comes, will they be ready? More importantly, Will you be ready? Can you say now that you are ready to answer to God for all you have done? And I'm not just talking about those bad things. I'm also talking about those good things we have done. We have all fallen short in some part of our lives. We have sinned. We have turned our backs on God. But remember, God has never turned his back on us. He loves us so much. He sent his son to save us. I am the way, the truth, and the life, says the Lord. Those who want to come to me, to the Father, follow me. And the other commandment that Jesus gave us to love, to love God with all our hearts, with all our souls. These commandments 
we have been taught these commandments we must obey all we need to do is follow Jesus follow him in everything we do people will know that we are Christians by our love remember to pray to keep nourishing our spirit our souls by reading the word praying go to church as I said the other day God knows the reason why if you don't go to church anymore why you stopped is that right the reason you stopped does it make it right to stop loving we may have been hurt I don't know but God knows why all of a sudden we have stopped the pressure of the world around us continually makes it difficult Jesus never promised us a path of roses to walk on but there are many rocks stones obstacles on our journey to Calvary where we show our love for God pray to the Holy Spirit to help you and as I've said on numerous occasions too our Heavenly Father never left us orphans we've always had either Jesus Christ his son or when Jesus ascended back to heaven he gave us the Holy Spirit the comforter the helper so pray pray for this and listen listen to the Holy Spirit may the blessings of Almighty God the Father Son and of the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always Amen.